Good morning to the saints of North Creek and the saints well beyond. It's now again Wednesday morning and it's time uh, for our 10 minute weekly Wednesday Bible study. We finished up uh, the going back to basics uh, and, and last uh, Wednesday study. And so we move into a new section of study now and it is uh, it's becoming a caring community. Once we know who we are and we're solid with the fact that we have uh, been loved by God through Jesus Christ, that, that God has given us grace, God has told us uh, with our, that God wants a personal relationship with us, that our lives matter, and that we have uh, work to do with God, and we know that we are important to God and to one another. And then we need to move a little beyond that, and that's what the next part of the studies will be all about. And the first, the first study is, uh, I like to call it that, uh, community building. Because we, we go forth not as an individual, but we go forth as a community. And the scripture for this first lesson uh, comes from the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. And it starts at the uh, first verse. Hear the word of the Lord. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats. They were left there by fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Well, Simon said, you know, we just come in and, and, and we haven't caught anything. And now you're asking us to, to, to pull out again. It's not even that time. So... Simon answered, Master, <laughs> we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats to full, that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on your catch will be people. So they pulled their boats up to the shore. They left everything and followed him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you'd open our hearts and our minds, that not only would we be hearers of your word, but that we would be also doers of your word. Amen. I was uh, reading in this little, God's little devotional book. And after I got done reading, I opened up this chapter of, of Luke to kind of look over what, where we were in, in the lessons. And I couldn't believe it. It, the story that I was just, a little devotion I was reading just fits so perfectly. And it's, it's under the heading of, A good deed is never lost. The person who sows courtesy reaps friendship. And the ones who plant kindness gathers love. And I thought, that's where it really is. That's how Jesus made community. And, and this little devotional talks about a, a woman called uh, Joy Sparger. She is a postmistress, a little post office uh, located in a little Cranberry Island, Maine. It's a very small community, uh, but uh, she has this thing where people can't wait to get their picture on her post office wall. Now, normally you would think, that's not really what I want is my mugshot on a post office wall. But here's what she does. Every 25th customer gets a plate of her homemade cream puffs. And then she takes this mugshot and puts the picture up on to uh, the post office wall, which also happens to be in the general store, which certainly does help. But people, you can't believe how people want to strive to get that plate of cream puffs and how they marvel at the pictures that are on the wall and how the community comes together and it's become a very community building 
thing. So much so that she continued uh, to bring in community from outside because uh, they are a little tourist place. And people are, come there in the summer and they go back to where they are, but she started up a mail order stamp business. But she just didn't mail them stamps. She puts a little note in with them. Here's what's happening in our, our community. And then she sends them the note and the stamps. And it has caught on so much, she's become number fourth in, in, in Maine for mail order stamps out of 450 locations. And there is this direct quote by somebody. One of the residents said, she invents ways to bring pleasure to others. I think that's, that's an amazing uh, devotion. How, you know, we need to invent ways to bring pleasure to others. And, and that's what the story here, that Jesus came to those boats. He saw downtrodden fishermen. He didn't use his own agenda here. He looked at what their need was. He said, hmm, you've been out there fishing all night, caught nothing. Come on, guys, we're going to give this one more try. They go, we can't do that. We've been out all night. We're washing our nets, blah, 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 blah. Jesus, trust me. And they did because he was interested in them. And that's really what builds community. We may have our own agendas and our own ideas and our own dreams and our own hopes. But if they don't belong to anybody else, they're just mine, ours, and they don't go any further. But whenever we put the needs of others first, whether it be giving them a plate of cream puffs that are homemade, putting their picture up on a wall so that other people can come in and they can put their pictures together and feel a sense of belonging, whatever it is. And once that community begins to build and their needs become my needs, then my needs will become their needs. And what, what a great thing that is. And so our, our faith, the basics that we have learned, our love of Christ, our love of God, our belief that we have the power of that Holy Spirit, that there is healing, that our lives do matter, that God wants a personal relationship not only with us, but with this whole world. And once we put that into action, I just have to believe good things happen. So read that scripture, uh, beginning at the fifth chapter of uh, uh, the first verse of the fifth chapter of Gospel of Luke. Think about community building. Think about the needs of others. Think about all the possibilities of inventing something that brings joy to others. Isn't that amazing? And you know what? I'll say amen, and I'll say I'll see you in church. <laughs> amen.